One question I get asked often is, should I rebuild my DD-15? In this video, I would like to share three tips to look for before deciding if you should rebuild. Hello and welcome to TAT Express. I'm Adam and on this channel, we cover everything about semi trucks from repair, maintenance to market condition updates. Hit that like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you know exactly when we release another video. Let's get right into this video. Now we have worked on the DD-15 since its introduction back in 2007. And let me tell you, we have seen many different types of failures. So my goal is to share three tips to look for before rebuilding your DD-15. Failures may occur shortly after assembly. So I hope this video helps you save time and most importantly, money. The first tip I would like to share is check for signs of metal in your oil. This can be done with an oil sample, or in most severe cases, metals can be visible in the oil. Light metal in the oil may be acceptable, but when you have large signs of metal with noticeable engine rotation lag, it's best not to try to rebuild the engine. We have seen many mechanics attempt to rebuild a DD-15 with excessive main bearing wear, and the results are engine failure shortly after assembly. This leads me to my next tip, which is if your DD-15 is locked up or your DD-15 is difficult to rotate, it is not recommended to rebuild the engine. In this case, we recommend a complete engine swap. We have seen many mechanical failures after attempting to replace the crankshaft when rebuilding. Trust me, no one wants an engine to lock up again after all the man hours and money put into a rebuild. The DD-15 is not similar to the 60 series and must be handled with extreme care and cleanliness. Outdoor or any environment where dirt can enter the engine is not ideal for repairs. Now the last tip I would like to share with you is ideal conditions for rebuilding. If your DD-15 has a liner failure where coolant is entering the engine or a scuff liner which causes high crankcase pressure and you do not have excessive metal wear, this is an ideal condition for rebuilding. Keep in mind that outdoors or any environment that will allow dirt to enter the engine is not ideal place for rebuilds. As mentioned before, the DD-15 is not similar to the 60 series. The DD-15 has higher displacement and compression ratio, which gives it higher torque with less horsepower. This design causes a higher load on the lower end of the engine, which is the reason why Detroit redesigned a lower bearing with a lead-free tri-metal design. Debris is the most common cause for engine failure. Because the top layer of the bearing is very hard, debris is less likely to be captured in the bearing. The debris may scar the bearing and get stuck in the oil clearances between the bearing and the crankshaft journal. The oil clearance area is very small and any debris caught in the area can lead to a spun bearing shell. The DD-15 must be kept very clean when working on and if you follow the tips that I mentioned in this video, it may help you in avoiding a failed rebuild. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to leave your comments below and if you would like to schedule an appointment to get your DD-15 worked on, you can call us at 972-225-3017. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you know next time we release another video. And until next time, guys, be safe.